I'm going to tell you a story, though, right now about, uh, you all know the story of Cinderella and the Prince? Yeah. Well, I learned this from my brother when I was little, um, Prinderella and the Sints. So bear with me. Once upon a wine, there was a giddy little pearl named Prinderella. She hived with her naked wed stutter and her two sisty uglers, made her flute the scores, pine all the shots and shans, and do all the other wordy dirk. Wasn't that a shirty dame? <laughs> One day, the ping issued a proclamation that all eligible earls were invited to a drancy fest ball. But Prinderella couldn't do. She didn't have a drancy fess, but only her rooty dags, which fit and did. Wasn't that a shirty dame? <laughs> then who should appear in the island of a twink but Prinderella's Gary Pod mother? She changed the chunkin' into a poach, the heist into mosses, Prinderella's rooty dags into a dancy fess, and warned Prinderella that she must be back by the woke of Strid night. Prinderella pranced all night with the synths, and at the woke of Strid night, ran down the stalus peps, and on the bottom pep, slopped her dripper. <laughs> Wasn't that a shirty dame? <laughs> the next day, the ping issued a proclamation that all eligible earls were to sly on the dripper. Mm -hmm. Sisty uglers sly on the dripper, and it fitn't did. But Prinderella sly on the dripper, and it fid did. So, Prinderella married the synths, and they hived lappity ever after. Now that wasn't such a shirty dame, was it? 